We are through January already. You've probably seen that it was not a fun month on Wall Street. Stocks are not doing so good, interest rates are slowly going up, and there is a lot of talk about inflation. But how is the housing market doing? Well, let's take a quick look at it. But before we get started, my name is Judith Chris, owner broker of Top Idaho Real Estate, selling homes in the valley since 2003 and bringing you the local market updates every month so you can keep your eyes on the local real estate market to help you make educated decisions when buying or selling a home. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to do so and click that little bell to get notified when our new videos come out. So let's see those numbers, starting with Boise, Meridian, Eagle and the rest of Ada County. There were 2,425 homes available for sale in Ada County in January, 14% more than this time last year, but 6% less than the previous month. We listed 794 homes for sale in January, 4% more than January last year, and 33% more than the previous month, which is very typical as people prefer not to deal with selling their homes during the holidays. As you can see, the median listing price for the month was $489,000, a 14% increase since last January, and it remained the same as it was in December. The average number of days homes spent on the market before being sold was 32 days. It took almost twice as long to sell a home as it did this time last year and a few days longer than last month. The median sales price was $525,000 last month, a 20% increase year-to-date, but a 2% decrease from last month. The number of homes sold increased 9% year-over-year, but we sold 31% less homes than the previous month. But again, that is due to the holidays, as it takes about 30 days to close on the sale of a home, so as we had fewer homes for sale and fewer buyers out there in December, we ultimately closed fewer homes the following month. And now let's take a look at Canyon County's number and let's see how we started 2022 there. There were 1,396 homes available for sale in Canyon County in January, 35% more homes than this time last year, but 8% fewer than the month before. We had 447 homes listed for sale in January, about the same as this time last year and last month. As you can see, the median listing price for the month was $425,000, a 20% increase since January 2021, and a slight increase since last month. The average number of days homes spent on the market before being sold was 36 days. It took more than twice as long for a house to sell than it did a year ago, but remained about the same as it did the previous month. The median sales price was $413,000 in January, a 23% increase year-to-date, and it remained about the same as it was the previous month. We sold 395 homes in Canyon County in January, 15% more than last year, and 30% less than we did in December. But again, it was due to the holidays. So now that you've seen the numbers, what is your prediction? What do you think 2022 is going to be like in the Treasure Valley's housing market? With all what's going on in our country and the world, with the politics, the economy, the housing market is still going strong. Not just here in Idaho, but nationwide. Yes, interest rates are slowly going up. It is about 3.65% to at the time I'm making this video. And of course, it is based on buyers' individual credit situation. And it is expected to go up to around 4% by the end of the year but it doesn't seem to affect the market much. As a matter of fact, when rates go up typically, the number of sales go up as well. Everyone who's on the fence tries to secure that low interest rates before they go up too high. So let's take a look at some numbers here. Let's run some numbers based on a $500,000 home. With a 20% down payment using a conventional loan and today's interest rate of 3.625%, your principal and interest payment is $1,824. By the end of the year, if home prices go up with a forecasted 1.9% increase, and honestly, I have no clue how they come up with that number, but anywho, the same principal and interest payment on the then 
$509,500 home would go up to $1,945. Now, I know it's only about $120 a month, but it is $36,482 difference in the total interest paid during the life of the loan. Yes, it is true, people usually don't keep their homes for 30 years or beyond. But even if you look at the difference in eight years, that's how long average homeowners keep their home for, we are still looking at near $14,000. That could pay for a really nice vacation, right? But jokes aside, if you are on the fence about buying a home, the sooner you grab these low interest rates, the better. We have about three months of home supply. If no other homes are being listed for sale, that is how long it would take to sell all the homes currently listed for sale. It is still a lot lower than a healthy balance supply, but you have a lot more selection than just a few months ago and a lot more time to think about that offer and you might even be able to negotiate a little. Idaho was one of the most popular destinations to move in 2020 and 2021, if not the most popular, followed by Texas and Florida. As a matter of fact, United Van Lines, a moving company, posted their data about the number of people moving out and joining each state. Idaho had the highest percentage of inbound move in the country for the second year running. So the secret is out and we literally have thousands of people moving to the valley and I foresee those numbers pick up again come spring. With so little supply and so much demand, the supply and demand problem that we've been dealing with for the past couple of years is going to continue into 2022. And that's what raises prices. Builders are building as fast as they can. And let me tell you, the price of building materials is unlikely to come down either. So whether you were born here or you are moving here and thinking about buying a home in 2022, this is a great time to buy. Take advantage of these great low interest rates because there is one thing that all experts agree on and that is that interest rates will go up. And if you are thinking about selling, this is a great time as well. With the low inventory, it is still a very strong seller's market. If you would like to find out what your home's current value is, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Whether you are selling or buying in 90 days or 90 days, we would love to chat with you. Make sure to click that thumbs up button and subscribe to get notified when our new videos come out. Until next time, I hope to see you around town. This is Judith Craze, broker owner of Top Idaho Real Estate, providing real value in a changing world.